called uh, Matiani. He came like that. <laughs> and so he's greeting me. So I asked him, you are still alive? <laughs> he said, yes, I'm not dead. But he looked dead, spiritual. <laughs> he, emotionally, he was dead. He was empty. His eyes were empty. He was going to play golf at 11. I had my tea and was walking majestically. But he is like, he has to find something to do. Now he finds his life is empty with all the billions he stole and all the people he killed. He can't show his face like I can show my face here. But then he cannot come here and lecture anybody. So who has won? <laughs> who has won? General. In the long end, what will history write about him? Will the country remember him as a hero or a villain? A bad man or a good man compared to me? If history remembers him, it will be a tiny footnote written in red. They lived a party despot called Matiai. <laughs> right? I don't think history will say the same thing about me. So anyway, let me go there now. I mean, I'm a living example of those that have actually sought and got justice through the Kenyan legal system. I went to the judiciary and I say, Look at what I say, and people thought were ridiculous. But he said, Miguna is not a Kenyan. So I say, I'm a Kenyan, I want him to prove that I am not. And he was not able to prove I'm not a Kenyan. I want that one. He said, Miguna lost his citizenship when he went to Canada. I said, nobody can lose citizenship by birth unless they renounce it. And I did not renounce mine. Let me tell us how I, how I lost it without renunciation. He couldn't prove. I won. He said, the National Resistance Movement is a terrorist organization. I said, it is not, and I want him to prove that we are terrorists. He was not able to prove. I won. He said, the National Resistance Movement must be banned. I said, it cannot be banned. And the court agreed. They said, it cannot be banned. He said, oh, Mikuna cannot get a passport because the first one he got, he got through, he was given <coughs> wrongly or wrongfully. I said, okay, so who gave him? The Department of Immigration, right? Or is it uh, whatever department it is? It was given by a government department. I applied for it. I paid. I was issued a passport. Like everybody else, I have a right for passport. Let us... Let him tell us how it was given illegally. They said, oh, Tinuka Jun just gave you because you are in ODM. As he says that, Raila is his principal and Raila is the head of ODM. So I said, tell Raila to tell me how Tinuka Jun gave me this thing illegally. They couldn't prove that. I want that one. In fact, the court even told them, you cannot even charge him. I can't even be charged for all these things. Then they say, oh, the swearing in of what I think was illegal or whatever. I said, no, it was perfectly legal. The court said it was, I won. So, how do you call that not getting justice? Because the only thing I have not gotten is that I am yet to be paid for the orders that I got. But you see, that does not bother me because I have children. And even if I'm not paid in life, they will get my payment at some point. So still I will be paid. Whether I'm paid tomorrow, whether I'm paid next week, whether I'm paid next year, doesn't bother me. I have a valid court order that I can collect on. So that should not bother anybody. 